They are poisonous to your pets and pose a risk to your children. Experts say they are seeing an increase in the amount of toxic toads around the area as they continue to reproduce, and we could see record numbers again in the coming months. WPTV News Channel 5's Ryan Hughes live right now in Palm Beach Gardens with what is causing this. Ryan. And, and experts believe that the weather may be to blame because we had such a mild winter. The toads continue to breed and reproduce and some fear if we have another mild winter, this trend will continue. They are not native to South Florida, but these toxic toads are making their presence known and posing a major safety risk to your pets. This year we are seeing so many more toads and we're having a lot more calls coming in. Janine Tilford, the owner of Toad Busters, a toad removal company, has collected nearly 1,000 bufo toads in just the past two days. And she says the population of these poisonous pests has exploded over the past year in our area. I'll give you an example, a week in um, March that we had done previously, we had only caught maybe 60 toads. And that same week of this year, we did 700 in that week. The bufo toads are displacing other toads native to South Florida, and it's hard to tell them apart. But when threatened, the bufo toads will excrete a white milky substance, which can possibly be deadly to your pets. That's why Alexandra Boyle is vigilant when walking her dog, Cassini. Most of the time I keep her on the sidewalk. She does like to sniff a lot, so if she goes into the grass, I kind of arch over her to make sure I see what she's looking at and what she's sniffing so that it's not a toad. And your dog can experience seizures if exposed to that white toxin. Some of the warning signs are heavy panting, dilated eyes and red gums. So the best advice of what you should do if that happens, get a wet rag and wipe out your dog's entire mouth, the tongue and those gums. Try and get as much of that toxin out as possible and then take them to the vet right away. We're live this afternoon in Palm Beach Gardens. Ryan Hughes, WPTV News Channel 5.